Hello and welcome to this introductory video on Visual CGA. In this video, we are going to dive into one of the example scenes provided in the example VCGA Playground, specifically the Boston scene that you find in the Scenes folder of the project. This example contains also some street rules that require the download of the complete street example. So if you see that street on display correctly, make sure to download the complete street example from help download tutorials and examples. We're going to focus on the facades rules examples that populate this scene. You can find them in VCGA designs facades. You can preview the facades before assigning them through the file preview window in City Engine. We imported our plan from RJS Urban. Therefore, all the shapes in this scene are just bidimensional floor plates of urban models. We can directly drag and drop the VCGA facades into the scene spaces. For example, let's select this one on the left. If we take our facade and we drag and drop it here, we see that it automatically generates. We can use the same rule to model the facade of the top floor and we can tweak the parameters in the inspector to make sure the top floor has a roof. Let's now have a closer look at one of the facade's visual graphs. For this example, I chose the top floor of this panel building here. In this visual graph, the green nodes represent the mass modeling of the building, the yellow nodes represent the facade modeling, um, the gray nodes are materials, and the blue nodes here represent the roof modeling. Let's start from the green part of the graph. The input shape to this visual graph is a 2D phase. So the first thing we need to do is extrude this 2D phase to get a volume. This volume is then fed to a floor modeling component. In this case, we use floor, slabs, inner and facade, which gives us some meaningful extension points like the bottom slab, the top slab, the facade, and the inner volume. We repeat the same step for the inner volume to get the facade of the inner volume. And we can then proceed to model the facade of the inner volume through some repeating splits that alternate windows and extruded panels. Finally, we can assign some materials to the extruded panels and to the window glasses. In this case, we uh, use a radio switch so that we can control this from the inspector too. As you can see here, we have the vertical slabs material choice here that we can then tweak later. Since we want to reuse the same visual graph for regular floors and top level floors, we want to allow the possibility to insert a roof um, coming from the top slab of the floor model. So we do that through the roof component now we can go in the inspector and change the attributes of the VCGA as we prefer. In the Boston scene, you can find multiple examples of facades modeled with VCGA. Feel free to click around, open the respective VCGA file and inspect it to get familiar with our library of components and to understand how these components can work together.